August 19th, just a big bone on a global warming, smoky kind of August Saturday. These are the available pups from Bogan and Sister Big Bone. We have a black male, a black female right there, and one Grindle male. So two males and a female at this point. I do, at some point, there will be a red female. I'm looking, I'm taking a hard look at two. I'll keep one and the other will be available when I make up that when I make up my mind. But uh, it's a tough call. But these guys are definitely available. And there's nothing wrong with this black female except I already have one. So I don't need to have Suprema. Hello. Hello there. Hi. That's the male. The light brindle male. And female over there with dad. Getting her head pissed on. Bogey, come here. What's the name of that guy that liked to pee on young women? R. Kelly. <laughs> he liked to pee on young black bitches, didn't he? But to call you Bogan Kelly. I can use that the B word in this context, Google. It's the appropriate term for a female dog. <laughs> Spare me your AI morality. Good thing I'm not worried about my ESG score. No, we are not captive to BlackRock or anyone else. We are not like 88% of the S&P 500. No, not even a little. Anyway, I wanted to, uh, I would like for them all to disappear by now, but they didn't, so, so here they are. And I've got some older dogs. I had a uh, Trito and one of her eight-month-old daughters I let out. We had a cougar creeping about, and I'm like, mm. if I had a dozen dogs not come back, it should probably be these. And I let them out, and they were gone for weeks. And I'm like, well, cougar got them, or something happened to them. And then some guy just showed up today with my dogs. He had adopted them. So... I'm dealing on some older dogs, and I got some puppies here that are still prime time. And if you're new to the program or you just stumbled here from cyberspace, please visit the website, www.olympicdogs.net. I don't want to bore my regular viewers by hyping my program. Even though people with millions of subscribers subject their, their regular viewers to the same spiel, Every time I'm thinking of you, Russell Brand. No, no, no. You notice I never ask anyone to like or subscribe or fucking comment below. Matter of fact, I turn the fucking comments off because I don't want to hear the stupid shit that you would say. I don't want it in my brain. It's that kind of stupid. You know why they ask you to do it? They don't care. They don't want to hear it either. They don't read it. It's because YouTube likes it. The algorithm likes comments. Because the algorithm is selling your eyeballs to the highest bidder. Anything that keeps you commenting and reading, they know they got your eyeballs. So don't kid yourself. No one gives a fuck about your comments. Have a good night.